The John Betjeman poem, Seaside Golf, says it all about St Enidoc Golf Club. Ah, seaweed smells from sandy caves and time and mist in whiffs. Incoming tide, Atlantic waves slapping the sunny cliffs. Lark song and sea sounds in the air and splendour, splendour everywhere. Betjeman is synonymous with St Enidoc Golf Club. He wrote that after a rare birdie on the course's 13th hole. He now lies buried in the church nearby that very green. But his words still hold true around what is one of the British Isles' most remarkable Lynx layouts. You very seldom get somebody that finishes their round and says, oh, it was OK. It's pretty much every time it's, wow, that was a phenomenal experience. And, and I mean that from people that play off 18 and people that play off scratch. It is a great golf course and it's a, and it's a great place to have fun with your golf. It can be punishing, it can be exhausting, but it can also be really exhilarating. It's got the wow factor to it. Tucked away on the southwest coastline of England in the quaint royal sailing town of Rock, St Enidoc is a hidden gem. From tea to green, it's a beautiful layout and struck a chord with five-time Open champion Tom Watson. It's a wonderful golf course. I mean, it has a lot of variety to it. It's got uh, uh, a lot of elevation to it, which I like in a golf course. I don't like these flat links golf courses. I like something that's got some elevation where it causes you to go downhill, uphill, and uh, we always get the side hill lies on Lynx golf courses, but uh, Santa Ana Dock has that elevation, which is, makes, it, it makes it a special place. Plus, they have the, the church right there in the middle of the property, and uh, it's a beautiful views just everywhere you look. Uh, it's a great place to play golf or just take a walk, which uh, the last time I was there with Tuck, that's what we did. We just simply took a walk and watched some of the players play on a Saturday afternoon. St. Denadoc has two 18-hole layouts, but it's the church course that's received greatest acclaim. It was originally laid out by James Braid in 1907, and despite a series of small-scale alterations, remains true to that design. It's a unique piece of ground, really. You can go anywhere and, and not find this. He, he put a fantastic golf course in limited space, um, which, which we haven't changed a great deal, to be honest. The way we shape the fairways is a tightness to the golf course. You have to be precise in every shot. We had Pete McAvoy, who designed a few holes for us, which is the 13th and the 16th, to increase a bit of length and more aesthetics more than anything else. While there are breathtaking views of the Camel Estuary across to Padstow in this idyllic part of Cornwall, it's the quality of the course that deserves the highest praise. The famous Himalaya bunker on the sixth hole is a signature feature from the original design, while the back nine offers its own distinctive set of challenges. Having said that, it's easy to let the views distract you from the golf. You've got the sea going on 16, 17, 18, and the view from the 18th tee on the white tee is just unbelievable. I don't think I've, I've played all around the world and there's nowhere an 18th tee is as good as what that is. Every time I play golf here, I feel as though I'm on holiday. Going over the crest of the first, and you see the scene, you think, wow, it's here. It's brilliant. Another standout hole is the 10th, which winds its way towards the 11th century St. Enidoc Church, where John Betjeman's buried. I can't tell you how many funerals have had John Betjeman's seaside golf recounted um, as a result of members and their, and their love and passion for this place. I mean, it is one of those golf courses that really stirs the soul and the spirit. I mean, if you've had a, an evening, a late evening around at St. Anadoc, it's, it's one of those religious experiences, you know, it's, it's fantastic.